Now that you have successfully connected your basement sentry controller, you can test the installation. To do so, disconnect the primary pump from the outlet before touching any component in the sump basin. Now check the controller. The system light should be green when plugged into a power source. Please note that when the unit is first plugged in, all lights will flash and an alarm will sound to verify proper operation. When the battery begins charging, the four lights in the circle will turn blue with the battery light flashing blue. Once the battery is fully charged, the four lights will turn green. If there are any additional lights or alarms, press and hold the silence button for three seconds to clear the unit. Now lift the lower float on the backup pump float switch. After one second, this will cause the backup pump to run and an alarm to sound. Be sure the inlet of the backup pump is above the inlet of the primary pump. To clear this alarm, press silence for three seconds and the unit will reset. To complete the final test of the installation process, unplug the controller from the outlet. Run water into the sump basin until the backup pump turns on. Push the silence button when the pump is running to turn off the alarm. The pump will continue to run for an additional 10 seconds after the float has been lowered or until the controller senses water is being pumped. Now press and hold the silence button for 3 seconds to reset the system and clear all faults and alarms. Be sure to connect your controller and primary pump back into their power sources. The four circle LEDs will be blue when charging the battery. Once the charging is complete, all four circle LEDs will turn green. Now that you have successfully connected your basement sentry combo unit, you'll be able to explore the current pump status, configuration settings, and commands available, bringing you the peace of mind you deserve wherever you go. Contact us today and learn how our team can help you find the best option for your home.